Hey coaches! Okay, I wanted to make this video for you to tell you the key to success in this business. A lot of people come to me, they're like, I need to make this much money, I need to replace my income, I want to pay off my car, I want to buy a new car for our family, I want to go on a family vacation. Awesome. So we can help you reach those goals, but it's going to take work and effort and daily consistency to help you reach those goals. And the most crucial, the crucial part in your business that most coaches who don't end up reaching their goals, they skip this part. So if you're skipping this part, you want to put this as top priority on your list of things to do in your business every single day, at least five days a week for one hour a day, you need to focus on this. So it is called your power hour. So what do you do in a power hour? What is it? So this is crucial to your success. So this is what you're going to do. First of all, you're going to do your personal development before your power hour. You need to have energy, you need to have excitement, you need to be pumped up and ready to talk to people and super positive. If you are stressed out, if you're trying to do your power hour when there's lots of things going on, you will not be successful. There are so many people out there who are feeling depressed, who are feeling tired, who are feeling out of energy, and you need to get yourself energized and ready to go so that when you talk to people, they just gradually, they want to work with you. They attract you because of your energy and you get that energy. I don't wake up like this. Like I wake up, oh my gosh, it's a new day. Like I have to do personal development. I have to work out. I have to eat healthy. I have to work on me so I can help everyone else. So this is crucial. And so you have to do your personal development or your workout or whatever it is um, at the beginning. Of, of your power hour. So don't do your power hour unless you are feeling 100%, yeah, let's change the world um, because it won't come across to your people. I've, I've tried it the other way, it just does not work, You, it won't work. So when you're doing your power hour, you've got to have a laser focused time. This is crucial, especially to all those moms out there. I know I'm a busy mom, I have three kids right now. So you have to have uninterrupted time. You can have this, uh, 15 minute blocks four times a day, or you can have one hour a day super focused or two 30 minute times, but it has to be super focused, uninterrupted time. So this would have to be early morning, during nap time, during the evening, when everyone's, you know, doesn't need you. Um, but it has to be laser focused. Do not try to do your business 24 seven with your kids. I've done that before and it just makes me stressed out. It makes me burnt out. And a lot of coaches have actually quit because they've tried to do it like that and they just get overwhelmed and they can't keep up with their life and their family. So during your power hour, it's laser focused. So you might have to talk to your significant other, your spouse, whoever uh, you live with, um, and ask them for help, especially if you have kids, to have a focused power hour. Believe me, your business will grow so much faster if you have this laser focused power hour. Okay, I think I said that enough. All right, so you you have that you've done your personal development. You are not interrupted. You're super laser focused. You set a time to do this every single day consistently. It doesn't have to be at the same time every day either. You can just create your schedule every single day. That's what's cool about this business is you can set your hours. So you can say the night before, this is when I'm going to do my power hour and set the goal the night before. This is when I'm going to do it. Okay, what do I do? What do I do during the power hour? What what do I spend my time on? You want to spend your time on doing four things. That's it. Super simple. Number one, you're going to meet new people every single day. You have to grow your network. So if you want to go slow, you would meet like, you know, two people a day. If you want to go faster, I would go up to maybe five people a day. You don't want to go too many in one day because it's hard to keep up with everyone. So I would say like two to five is good. Um, and that, you know, that's good. Two to five new people every single day. So how are you going to meet these people? We're going to meet them on Instagram. You're going to meet them on Facebook. So go back to the lessons about Instagram or Facebook if you want to learn how to expand your network, um, how to meet new people that way. But you're going to find at least two new people. So Instagram, Facebook, or in person. In person just takes more time. Um, 
but you want to meet new people every single day. You want to expand your network. Once you start making a profit in your business, it's really cool because then you can put money back into your business. That's what I do. Um, you can put like 10% back of your income back into your business, into advertising. So then people will just automatically come to you. Um, if you're doing a business Facebook page or doing ads on Instagram, you can automatically grow your following and not spend as much time. So but when you're first starting out, you're going to have to do the time consuming ways of finding people so you can start earning a profit and then you can put that money back, invest in your money back into your business and grow it faster. So two to five brand new people every single day. You're going to watch those trainings on Facebook, Instagram, how to meet new people, how to grow your following. It's really simple and easy to do. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to invite at least two to five new people a day into a free group. So you're going to start by inviting them to something for free, a free health and fitness community, your free water and walking challenge. Um, but every single day you want to invite those new people into something. So when you invite them into that, then it's just a really easy way to ask about their health and fitness goals. And so just get really good at meeting new people and inviting them to your free group. The next thing you want to do is you want to talk to two to five new people every single day about their health and fitness goals. So once you've met them, then you invited them to their, your community or your free group, um, then you're going to talk to two to five new people every single day about their health and fitness goals. We have the list of 200 that you're filling out. So you want to fill out that list and two to five people, you're asking what their health and fitness goals are and what their struggles are. Once you know that, then you can take them to the next level and you can invite them to a fitness challenge or your coaching mentorship. So you need, you, since you're in this, you're in this group, you're talking to your coach every week for 15 minutes a week. You want to ask your coach, when is our next health and fitness challenge? So they will help you have a date. When you're first starting out as a coach, you're going to run the challenge with your coach. Once you've been doing this for two or three months, you will have coaches on your team and you will teach them and you will do it with them. But for now, when you're just getting started, you're going to do the health and fitness challenge with your coach when you're first starting out. So you always want to have a date for your next beach body challenge. Um, if you have a date and you haven't filled it up, you know, if you don't even have one challenger, I would move the date forward to the next week or the next week. You don't want to run a health and fitness challenge, a beach body challenge, or even join a challenge unless you have new people that you are adding because that would just take your time. So instead of joining the challenge and not having any people, you could focus that time on finding new people to join the next challenge. Okay, so this is really important. So every single day, you are gonna invite new people to the next challenge, and the way you do that is you're gonna look at your list of 200, you're gonna see you know, what people's goals are, what their struggles are, and you would say, oh, Sally, you know, she was struggling with her nutrition. So then I would send a message to Sally. Hey, Sally, I know you are struggling with your nutrition. Um, I have this group starting on this date on July 3rd and I have three spots left would you like to join I think it will really help you with your nutrition and then Sally will write back and she'll be like sure I think um, that sounds good so then I'd be like I'm a new coach I don't know what to say I'd say I'm new at this let's bring my friend Janelle into this conversation so then you get your coach if it's Janelle or whoever and I would say um, add them to your Facebook conversation and Janelle can help you to know what to say with that person. Um, okay, so I would always, you know, when you're new, bring your coach into the conversation. We used to do a lot of phone calls, but now I think group messages work really well. Um, the other thing is when you're talking to people through Facebook, using the voice messenger works really well. So if you're in a private message and it's a new person you don't really know, um, you can click and you can Google this to learn how to do this if you don't know how, but you can just click on the voice messenger and you can do a message through your voice because then they can hear you and feel your energy. So that works really well. The fourth thing you want to do is, um, and in, well, invite them to the challenge or talk about coaching. 
So once you're in that, you know, back and forth conversation about their health and fitness goals and about how the challenge will work for them, um, you can bring up coaching as well. Um, you know, especially if they are saying, well, I don't know if I can afford it. I would lead instead of leading with, you can get a discount. I would say, you want to learn how to get it paid for. That's what I do. We have step-by-step -step training to learn how you can get your program paid for. You work on your own health and fitness goals, and then you get it paid for. It's awesome. You don't have to be in great shape. It actually helps you stay motivated because you're going to learn how to help other people. So I would lead that. And then I would say, by the way, you get 25% off all your programs, which is awesome. So that's the power hour. That's it. Four things you're doing every single day. You are setting a timer to do this. So you have to set a timer and be laser focused. During your power hour, you are not going through the news feed. You're not having a million conversations, you know, that are going nowhere. You're just quickly, like you have a checkoff list. I'm meeting new people every single day. I'm inviting new people to my free group every day. I'm talking to people about their health and fitness goals every single day, filling out that 200 spreadsheet. And I'm inviting people to my next health and fitness beach body challenge or to become a coach every single day. Okay. So those are the four things. If you don't do anything in your business, just focus on those four things every single day and your business will grow. This business does not take hours a day. It just takes focused, focused time. So when you wake up in the morning, this is just a side note. Do not check your email. Do not check your messages. Um, that just slows you down. All of that, don't check the news feed. I am guilty. We've all done this. But you have to be laser focused with your time. The more laser focused. I've seen people do this business, amazing things with this business. They work full time. They have several kids. Um, so it's not about not having enough time. It's about spending laser focused time time on your business. So it's going to take time and practice to get into the groove of this. But once you get in the groove of this, um, it's so fun. It's fun talking to people about their health and fitness goals. It's fun learning about them. And you just keep going forward and you keep having those conversations and you'll never run out of people to talk to. So I hope that was helpful with the power hour. I can't wait to hear how it's going. Um, how you're growing your business and moving forward. So comment below, tag your coach, and let them know, let us know, when are you working on your power hour? Um, post, you know, exact what times are you working on it, and that you're going to set a timer and do that power hour. So I hope you have an awesome day, and keep making a difference in people's lives. We need you to help us make a difference in people's lives to live healthier, more fulfilling lives. So have a good one and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.